Hey, today I went to Trader Joe's and I stocked up on all the great stuff I need to do Dr. Goldner's protocol. And I'm gonna show you what I got, okay? But first I'm gonna grab a cup of tea. In case you didn't see the last video, I'm getting back on Dr. Goldner's protocol because I got some blood work back that I was not happy with. There were some elevated numbers. I think the indulgences around Christmas time and the holidays um, didn't do well for me and I could not get away with that. So that, and there's been a lot of stress. So the thing is, I don't have any physical symptoms yet. My symptoms are still gone. So I feel like this is awesome because I can get out in front of it. What a luxury we have to get blood work so we can see these things. And I'm gonna get out in front of it. I'm gonna do the protocol and hopefully never get the symptoms. I feel like I can nip this in the bud. I know it works. Um, so I'm gonna show you, you can go to Trader Joe's, you can get everything you need. A couple things I did last time. So the first, four, I did it for four weeks and I had awesome results. And there were a couple things I did do that I wasn't supposed to do that I didn't know until later. I watched Dr. Goldner's Wednesday Q and A's and I learned later that you're not supposed to do this, but I got the results doing it. So I'm gonna do it again this time, which is, I used Stevia last time. No, I'm really conflicted about the Stevia, but I'm not ready to wean off that yet. And the other thing I did, I froze my greens sometimes, not all the times. Like my preference is to use the fresh, but because of access, I never wanna be without the greens. You know, those big Costco bags. So whenever I go there, I freeze a few of those, like four of them so that I always, always have greens and I don't have to have that anxiety of running out of greens. These are not the most economical greens. I got three of these just to have because I don't know when I'm gonna make it out to get more greens. These are great, but it's only five ounces. So basically this is one smoothie. And then I got, I love butter lettuce and this is red and green. They have wonderful butter lettuce. So I got three of these. This is like a, maybe a one week supply of stuff aside from the greens because I already have some. There would be more of these. The other thing I get is those big, you know, those rectangle tubs. I get those too, but Trader Joe's doesn't have those. This is a treat, jicama. These are jicama sticks. They're like french fries. Well, they're cut like french fries. They don't taste like french fries, but I love these. They're really refreshing. They have a great texture, jicama. The first time I ever had these was in Mexico and just love it so much. So that feels like a treat. I got some wasanado kale or Tuscan black kale, dinosaur kale, whatever you call it, because I'm gonna change up my green smoothies. Some bananas, everything's organic, except for the jicama. And except for these, they didn't have the organic avocados. But as far as the dirty dozen goes, supposedly you can get non-organic avocados. I buy everything organic unless I don't, unless it's not available. Um, so I have two bags of these and one is more ripe so I can have some today. I got some white mushrooms, variety. Variety is key. Have as much variety as you can, and it keeps you keeps you interested. I got this is also a treat: the microgreens for my salad. I got some red peppers, and I got these. These are fun; like they're super portable, and they uh, you, you can just pop them in your mouth and dip them in guacamole. I love these things, the, all the different colors. I got some broccoli. Broccoli is my favorite vegetable, but not raw. But I got some anyway. I got these, I've never had these before. Sugar bee apples, never had them, I'll let you know. I have another bag of apples. I got a lot of apples on hand. This is what I'm so excited about. I am so stoked about this because I'm gonna make raw tacos. These are jicama wraps. I've never had them before, but um, I'm gonna make these and hopefully it'll be good. We'll try it together, okay? I gotta have some variety. I got some pineapple chunks. I got these to eat uh, just raw, but also for the smoothies. I really like pineapple in my smoothies. And some wild blueberries. Get wild if you can. More jicama, I got three of these. This is such a treat, I love them so much. They just go bad really fast, so you have to eat them. And then, whoops. Oh no, as I accidentally got non-organic. I hate that when the 
sign says organic and you're not paying attention and then you get the non-organic. Well, I'm gonna eat it anyway because that's what I have. Dr. Goldner, by the way, says organic's not necessary, preferred but not necessary. For me, it feels really necessary to not be cleansing your body with pesticides, right? So for me, it is necessary, but it's gonna be another week before I go to the store, so I'm gonna have to probably eat one of these. And then these are also not organic. Um, grapefruits, they didn't have organic, but I really, really just want a lot of variety. I'm a little bit bummed that I'm doing this, and I just wanted to feel like I had some treats to, you know, make it fun. So yeah, get organic if you can. That's my personal opinion. So. Over half of this stuff is organic. Everything that was available organic, I got organic. So this is my loot. This is gonna get me through at least a week. Um, I also have tons of frozen fruit and stuff in the freezer for my smoothies. Okay, so do you wanna see what's in the fridge? We're gonna take the stuff out of the fridge, the bad stuff, the inappropriate stuff. I don't wanna say bad. I don't wanna be shameful around food, but it's the more unhealthy stuff. And we're gonna get that out of there. I don't think there's anything bad in there. Let's go see. Okay, so, so there's stuff in here I can't eat. There's nothing in here that I consider bad, okay? Except, well, there's some of this vegan cheese. This is like a treat. I got away with this before. I don't think it was the vegan cheese that did it. I got away with this during the summer when I had some. You know, I have some of this. I like to make Greek salads and stuff, and my blood work was, the numbers were still coming down, everything looked great, even though I was eating this, so I don't think it was this. But this, one of my favorite things to eat is steamed broccoli with butter. Yeah, with butter. Um, and I just, I just got really bold with my food choices, and I got this, it's vegan, it's oat milk butter, but what's bad about this is it's got actually it's high oleic so it's not that bad it's not that bad so i recently learned that high oleic sunflower oil is not bad but more on that later i'm still learning i got so much to learn still because things are always evolving and changing and i'm learning still which is good i always want to be so i was using this on maybe this didn't do it maybe it was the gluten so i had i had pizza just once and then I had um, stuffing and pie at Thanksgiving just once. And it's really hard for me to believe that it was just that. I really think there was more to it. There's sunflower oil in those Simple Mills stuff. I've got my eye on that as problematic. Maybe that combined with the gluten was what did it. I don't know. I'm never going to know because I wasn't doing the blood work and stuff while I was doing those things. But I'm going to test it out in the future and see what I can and can't eat. These are sweet potatoes, but I'm going to leave those in there because my dog is eating those right now. These are those power beans I was talking about. This is flax and chia. I need to refill this. It's tofu. We're not going to be eating this, but maybe I will be eating it. This is one of the things that's okay to introduce that I, I was okay with. Um, so, but I'm going to stick this in the freezer. You can freeze tofu. People like it better, but I don't. I like it better non-frozen. Cashew cheese sauce. I'm going to put this in the freezer. This freezes great. My sauce, pasta sauce, I'm going to freeze that. My pizza sauce, I'm going to freeze this. This though, this one has sunflower oil in it. Sunflower oil is supposedly inflammatory. So I like this on my pizza and I would often just kind of blot the oil off. So I don't know that there was enough of it there. This stuff I'm gonna put in the freezer. This is that Caesar dressing that I was enjoying so much. You know, I read the ingredients and the only questionable thing in here is olive oil. It has some cashews, miso, mustard, capers, lemon, tofu. It was the olive oil that I didn't think was ideal, but based on my past history in the summer with this, with eating the olive oil and having the numbers still come down, I think this is safe for me in moderation, but I'm gonna freeze this so that I have it later. I was totally hooked on that blackened tofu salad with that dressing, it was so good. But if I find out that the olive oil doesn't work for me, I'll just switch over to my cashew Caesar dressing and we'll still have the same thing, it'll be awesome. Organic cauliflower, I'll be eating that first. We'll be eating this today. I'll make a separate video when, when I make those tacos, probably it might be today, because I can't wait to try it out. This is flax seeds from Bob's. Apples, I got some sushi ginger. I'm 
not going to be eating sushi, so save that. This is really a really good vegan gluten-free minestrone from Trader Joe's, but I think it's going to end up in the... It has some orzo pasta that's made from quinoa. I think this is safe for me. Um, I always like to have some stuff ready-made for when I can't cook that's healthy, but this expires in February. We'll see. It's got beans in it, and I don't think I'm gonna introduce beans back for a while. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this guy in the freezer. It'll be nice to have, though. I got a whole bunch of kombucha because this was kind of like my cocktail for the holidays. Whenever I'm hanging out with people that are having a cocktail party or whatever, I just have kombucha because I don't want the alcohol anymore. That's, I don't feel deprived about that at all. I actually prefer this. And probiotics, my doctor thinks it's healthy, but it's not okay on the Dr. Goldner thing, so I'm just gonna let it be in here for a while. Okay, I've got a red pepper in this today. I've got some oranges. I'm gonna take a couple of these out because they're easier to peel when they're not so cold. My little, <laughs> my wilted parsley. So I'll just put this in my smoothie later today. This thing, parsley is filled with uh, antioxidants, polyphenol, so I'm gonna put this in my smoothie later. All right. Dates, I won't be eating these, but I store them in the fridge. Won't be eating these on the protocol. I can't wait to do, see the blood work on this because this is omega-3 algae. So this is more powerful than the flax and chia because, so what I learned, thanks to my eye doctor, is that the flax and chia is not powerful enough. It, it, it's not gonna be, in, you have to consume so much to get the omegas you need, but we don't know what I need yet because I haven't done the blood work. I haven't seen that number. So I'm still gonna do the flax and chia, but I'm adding this and boy, does it taste good. I love barleens. And if you want, if you want like a liquid flax, this is really good. I totally trust this company. The blackberry and the strawberry one is really, really good. This is even better though. So I use this when I, like if I don't get the second smoothie and I feel like I need more flax that day, I'll have this. But now I'm, uh, I've added this every day to the flax and chia. So stay tuned, we'll find out. I'm, I can't wait to see the results on this. It's supposed to be good for your brain. It's powerful stuff. So the only thing in the doors I'll be using is this lime juice and I also have lemon juice. I keep these avocado, I prefer the fresh avocado, but you know how temperamental avocados are. So I keep these, these are from Costco. They come in a big box. And I always have these on hand so that I always have the avocado, but I'd rather have the fresh. Okay, in here, I've got carrots, cabbage, beets. I have beets, but they're not raw. They're these things. They're, these are those love beets that come in the box. This makes a wonderful salad with arugula and that feta. Some ginger, I love this in my smoothies. This is really good trick for winter because it's, it has warming properties to it. So you know how hard it is to do these cold things all the time in the winter adding ginger to smoothies. It tastes phenomenal and it's it's more wintry. I've got some purple onion. I have a whole bag of them. I always have cilantro. So let's get the good stuff in here. There's not much to take out and we'll be all set, okay? This is a trick too. Some sparkling water, I find this really helpful. It feels like a treat. It's not as good as kombucha or the coconut water. There's some coconut water in here, but I can't, this is not okay. But it'll stay there. That's, I almost consider that medicinal. It'll, it'll be there if I need it. Um, but this, the sparkling water is a great way to treat yourself. You know, like if you're going to the cocktail party and you can't take your kombucha, you can take one of these. Doesn't this look delicious? <laughs> I mean, it looks delicious. This is good food. It's yummy, it's good. Is it as good as having free reign? No, but it's gonna heal. So this is what's gonna reverse my autoimmune numbers. And I'm going in really happy. I'm, I'm almost through my second day of this. I mean, the first day was, I barely even noticed that I was doing anything different. And yeah, this is gonna be great. So I'll see you very soon for those tacos. I can't wait to eat those. And I hope you are doing great. Even if you're not doing this protocol, let me know. Please leave a comment. Let me know. Happy healing.